Well, we just want to make a few points that maybe aren't coming across too clearly from the official campaign. Number one is that since it is the non-crime of doing journalism that Julian Assange is being persecuted for all over the world, chased around the earth by the US imperialist ruling powers for having exposed their crimes. That's his crime. He told the truth about their crimes in a way where many people could find it out. Where is the National Union of Journalists today? Well done. Where is the trade union movement? Where is the anti-war movement? Where is the mass mobilization of British working people to stop these proceedings, to close down this travesty of a proceeding? The power of the British working class could stop this in its tracks if it was harnessed and mobilized today. We shouldn't be here to just express our opinions. We should be here to stop this in its tracks. This is a travesty. There's nothing legal about this legal proceeding. From start to finish, it's a joke, it's a charade. It has nothing to do with British law, nothing to do with American law, nothing to do with international law. It's in violation of the extradition treaty that it's supposedly following. Julian has committed zero crimes anywhere in the world. The USA has no right to ask for his extradition. He committed no crime on American soil. He's not a fugitive from anybody's justice. He is being hounded by the imperialists for telling the truth. And the British working class, since it's our country where Julian is being targeted physically, it's our responsibility to mobilize the working people and say, we will not put up with this. And it is disgusting that our trade union movement has not been mobilizing the people to blockade the city, to surround Belmarsh, to surround the courts, to refuse to allow this joke of a proceeding to continue. They should be facing up to the state and they are not. The other thing we should notice about these proceedings is what it tells us about the relationship between the British ruling class and the US ruling class. Because when the interests of US imperialism are threatened, the British ruling class feels itself to be threatened too. It will bend over backwards, break all its own rules in order to conform to the wishes of its senior partners in the USA to preserve the interests of US imperialism. There is no crime they will not commit. There is no courtroom they will not lie in. There is no rule they will not break. This is our much vaunted mother of all democracies and great British justice system in action. And what it also tells us is the truth about free speech in Britain. Because the truth is something that many who have opposed British imperialism have learned a long time ago, which is, yes, you can say anything you like as long as nobody's listening to you. That's the limits of the free speech we really have. But if you have something to say that threatens the stability of imperialist looting around the world, and you say it in a way that many people might hear you, you say it on a platform that people are looking at, you say it to a movement which is big and which is listening, they will come down on you like a ton of bricks. What we are witnessing with Julian's persecution is a punishment beating. It's a message to the whole world, not just to journalists, to anybody who wants to face imperialist power. If you are effective in bringing your message about our crimes to the mass of the people, we will come after you. And this is why it's everybody's problem and not just a problem for journalists or activists or people who have noticed about this particular case or who, who think they care about free speech. This is about number one, our right to access the truth and number two, our right to organize against imperialism. Yeah. Yeah. And 
and a real, a real anti-war movement would be organizing us to refuse to cooperate because in the end this machinery only works because of all the work of ordinary people. And a trade union movement and an independent media worth its salt would be explaining to those people that they can refuse to cooperate with a criminal proceeding which is going on here. And the crimes are the ones behind the bench, not the one in the dock. Okay. Thanks, guys. I'm going to introduce to you now uh, Steve Sweeney. Uh, he's a British reporter. Uh, working abroad at the moment, but uh, he's got uh, something to say about journalism and free speech. <laughs>